In a conversation we just had, Secretary Geithner made one thing very clear. August 2nd is the deadline. We've looked at all available options, and we have no way to give Congress more time to solve this problem, and we're running out of time. Republicans who deny the consequences of default are dead wrong. There is no way to move around money to delay the day of reckoning that would occur. Every family, every business will be impacted if House Republicans consider this to be a game. This is real. Every family with a 401k wants to send their kids to college, has to buy gas, put food on the table. Every business will be impacted if we default. This debate is not about new spending. This is about bills that are due for pre-existing obligations like Social Security, like the troops we have in the field, like our border security agents, our FBI agents. As Democrats, we have said consistently we are willing to compromise and move forward. But it's pretty clear we don't have a partner to compromise with in the House Republicans. It's time for them to step up. What I've seen over the past five meetings in the White House, despite the patience of the presidents, is the intransigence of some Republicans in that room who refuse to cooperate on a bipartisan basis to deal with this very serious economic threat. Moody's warning yesterday should serve as a wake-up call to anyone who doubts that the consequences that we're talking about are real. So House Republicans need to wake up to the reality and smell the coffee. Taking these negotiations past the deadline is not, is not, is not an option. It is time for the good of the American economy, for jobs and the future of business to put the politics aside and solve this problem. We don't have much time. It's time we move. Thank you very much.